Hey, you guys. First of all, we on the new. Hey, you guys. First of all, we on the new SD card. Mm. Um, so we got some errands to run today. Um, I haven't been vlogging this much this week just because I don't know, I really don't have a real reason actually. But you guys are gonna get some footage from this weekend. Um, because this weekend is Bay's birthday celebration, so we're gonna take you guys with us for that. Ooh, okay. Um so today's Friday. February 18th and I am heading to um, run some errands um, first of all I won't even gonna really go nowhere today but Beth and Whitey works be having me in a chokehold sis in a whole chokehold okay whole chokehold because I, this is the second time this week that I'm going I have a problem clearly um, they have hand soaps for 325 so I'm definitely about to go snag them and honestly, it's best to go ahead and get them now because this is the best deal for them. So when I got the budget for them, your girl's gonna go get them, okay? So in the process, I also looked and saw that I need to go get some things from BJ's. I need to go get some toilet paper in bulk. I'm a little upset because the laundry detergent, I feel like didn't last as long as it normally does. Um, we bought it like end of January and uh, we're not completely out now um, so it'll definitely last through February and we'll probably start it maybe like the first or second week of March so maybe it's about two and a half months but I mean then again is it really because February is a shorter month um, I don't know if it's the brand that we got or if we was just real heavy on um, I probably look real chunky from right here but y'all I do not have a car, car mount for the camera as of yet um, so, just deal with a view that y'all get. So, yeah. Um, maybe I can do that. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And then, so I'm going to put some more of that because I hate for us to run out. Um, and we still got, like, two or three loads to do. Like I said, I feel like it's fine. But when it starts getting a little, little light, I like to go ahead and be prepared. I'm just saying. So, we're going to get that. We're going to get some toilet paper, some paper towels, some napkins. Um, I want to go in Target and see, I'm hopeful, to see if they have any more Black History shirts. I'm um, probably not, but we're going to keep our fingers crossed. Um, I kind of want to find a powdered foundation type number because I do have a sorority event to go to tonight. And I'm really not in the mood to put a whole bunch of makeup on today um, because I, I am going to beat my face tomorrow for the party and things of that sort. And normally, I can't believe that I'm saying I'm not in the mood to beat my face because I'm always in the mood. But it might be because I did a makeup video Friday, last Friday, and then I did my makeup for Valentine's Day. And sis, I'm just tired. So, yeah. And I also am tired. Um, so, I'm going to definitely push forward to make sure that I get the makeup video out. Lord, y'all gonna make it, Lord. The, the, the battery don't look good. And I charge y'all before I left. So we'll see what we can get. Anyways, um, so, um, I'm rambling. That's one of the problems. But, yeah, I need to try and get, um, the, my Black History makeup look out before the end of the month. But, yeah, that's what we're working with. So I'm going, I'm gonna call y'all back when we get the, uh, uh, our first stop. Right, y'all so we're heading to our last store i just went in target and child i went in there i did find me two black history shirts i was very upset they had this barbie one and actually it was too big because it was a 2x but they also did not have a tag on it and i didn't want no problems so i left it 
I'm probably sure I'm going to regret that one. Um, but it was a 2X. And actually, when I held it up against me, it was going to, like, swallow me. So, I was like, eh. But Daniel ended up getting, I believe, I got him at least one Black History shirt, I do believe. I'm going to do a haul at the end of this when I get home. Um, then I ended up going over to his section and got him two pair of pants and got him a jacket that was on sale. And for whatever reason, I am really having a hard time finding things for myself. So I think I'm going to have to go online. Um, I'm going to go to the mall this week or at least next week. And if I don't find anything in the mall, then I'm going to have to just go ahead and get my she in and my fashion over and my pretty little things um, online, what you call it, and make it do what it do. Because darn but um, I'm going into BJ's. I'm going to stay on task and get what I'm supposed to get because it's 517. And I wanted to be back home by 6 so I could order dinner um, and slap a little foundation on my face before this program starts at 7. So um, I'll talk to you guys when we get to BJ's. Ciao. Look, look, look back here. $113 later. But what I will say is that for $113, and you guys will see, I got like hella stuff. I had coupons. I am mad that one of my coupons did not work because I called myself. Like, I hate when they give you two options. And the bad part about it is, like, I, I've worked customer service. I know, like, coupons. And, like, they'll have the picture up there. But then it don't be the picture. I call myself, if I get two options, I paper towels, I might as well get the thickest one. Well, I kind of find out that won't the one, so I didn't get my $3 off my paper towels, which, baby, it was already $29. So, first of all, your girl is official right now, okay? We is on the new tripod, and she is lit. So, I just came in the house. I'm tired. I did not think all the way through that I had to bring all this stuff in, but we here now, okay? So, starting off the haul with the BJ's, um, I spent a total of $113. Um, that's just what it was going to be about. I will try to remind myself to keep the receipt and put what the price of things were, but let's get into it because I'm hungry and I got things to do. So, the first thing we got is this cotton nail. This was... $21, I believe. Um, this has... I know. My I son know. is in the back. Y'all just gonna have to deal with it. This is um, 36 giant rolls, which equates to 114 regular rolls. This, I know, is gonna last us about three months. My bounty, as I was saying to y'all when I was in the car and I was irritated, this right here, I thought, oh, this does say every everyday value. That's the hell why. Anyways, this was supposed to have a $3 coupon. I grabbed the wrong one. And by the time I realized it, I was already to the darn register. And we wasn't going to change that. So, here we are. Um, I'm wondering, though. I'm just going to have to always step back. Because I feel like... Anyway, it's too much. Uh, this is the Bounty. This is 12 bulk rolls, which equates to 27 regular Bounty rolls. Funny thing is, I'm going to have to figure out... Where I'm gonna put this because I, I might have to put it out in the, the like open a pack because they come in individual wraps and I may have to open some enough to keep in the house and put the other ones in the store out there in the storage closet. I'm pretty sure this was gonna have to happen. Is it gonna happen tonight? No, probably tomorrow because we do have company coming, but not tonight. All right, we go through napkins really a lot, so I went and got the napkins. I think this was a $2, $3 coupon, I believe. Um, this is it's a pack of 200 in each pack. And I believe, so it says 800 of these. Again, going to last us a while. Um, Daniel, I was thinking smart. This box of chips right here should last Daniel almost probably if he if he only eats it for school but i'm pretty sure he won't this should definitely last definitely the rest of february march and probably into spring break before we have to go get another one um if he honestly doesn't eat them at home i'm pretty sure this could last us for the remainder of the year um honestly this is a 42 count and it's the uts brand i believe this was 9.99 again i will put it on the screen um, what everything was and has all the different assortments. 
BJ's is really good for kids' snacks and um, lunches. If you pack lunches, um, or if you have multiple kids. All right, we got the Purex. This is um, 240 loads. I'm actually going to look at the other one I got and see how many loads that is. And that would explain why that didn't last as long as I thought it was. This was originally either 14 or something like that. And it had a $3 off. So I believe I ended, get, ended, ended up getting that for $9. Um, ended up getting that for $9. And y'all know uh, you can go to Walmart and get and at least pay almost $10, $11 and not get something that size. Um, I did go and get a 50 pack of facial mask. I am about to go back in the office in the next month, month and a half. I am going to go order on Amazon the K95s, but I wanted to have this before that because the reuse, the reuse ones are all fine and dandy, but they end up getting like, they end up shrinking really bad. And honestly, this is seven dollars. It's fifty of them. It takes you a while to even if you go out every day, you still you still not going. It's still going to take you a, a last you at least a month and a half if you go out every day. And we already know everybody doesn't go out every single day. So this is going to work. And then when I get my K ninety fives, they also have the bulk of fifty. Um, Daniel has some. I don't know if I showed you guys getting off topic. Clearly, it's about six twenty three. Um, he has the kid K95s. They came in packs of 50. And it actually works with him keeping his mask on. And I already know. Everybody like, well, they's lifting the mask mandate. And I understand what y'all saying. But as for me in my home, the mask mandate still stands. And I'm just saying. Holy bananas. Um, next, I got the Lysol sanitizing um, wash here. Bay has been working. We were using this. Um, when the pandemic first was going on, panorama, whatever you want to call it. And now since um, in April, um, pretty much all of us will be outside of the home. I wanted to have this for our regular clothes to sanitize our clothes and stuff. This, I don't remember how much this was. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. Just don't remember. Um, got more fabric softener. This is for 244 loads. This had a $2 off coupon. So that's that. We're not out of the other ones yet, but I just didn't want to take no chances. Um, this ended up happening because we about to have company. But then I was like, I mean, why not have flushable wipes? And we used to have this. Um, but if you go in Walmart, you go through those a lot. This is a pack of... This is five, a total of 540 wipes. But I think it's 12 packs. We already know. We ain't wiping booties that much to go through 12 packs good deal for me all right i believe that's all the bjs moving on to bath and body works bath and body works had hand soaps for 3.95 if you're a rewards member and i am y'all need to go ahead and get um be on the rewards because it's everything you need and more so i end up getting the kitchen lemon um this has zesty lemon sparkly citrus and italian bargamot I got, I had to get white t-shirt a lot. We just put this in Daniel's bathroom and it smells good. So I want this to go in our bathroom next. They had some new scents out. Um, this is pink pineapple sunrise. The lady sprayed this on a thing and it smells so good. So I wanted to get this what in the hand soap. This is um, sweet pink pineapple with palm sugar and sun drenched nectar. So that's that. They definitely already got their spring stuff coming out. So I had to just go ahead and get with it. Next is the turquoise waters. I like the foaming better because I feel like it lasts more. I really hated that this was in the gel. But honestly, this goes in the kitchen. And in my and my rule in my house, if you were going to wash your hands in the sink, in, in the kitchen sink, it needs to be because you was cooking. Not you come all the way from your bedroom or come all the way out from the outside and wash your hands in my sink. So I'm okay with that. Plus, we just opened, excuse me, y'all getting like hella boobs right now. We just opened the other one that I just bought the last time. So yeah. This has um, bargamot, day, day lily, and sea spray in this one. We got the fresh lavender. I didn't even smell this. I was just like, I mean, lavender, and, I'm sorry, French lavender. It can't smell that bad. Um, this has fresh lavender and hints of amber. I really end up liking the color on that, so that's why we got that. Um, and then I got the Vanilla Cloud. I really end up just liking the colors of these, and that's why I got it. Um, these are whipped vanilla, apple blossom, and sandalwood. Now, these actually retail for $8.50. 
these ones are eight fifty, and these are seven fifty. Yeah, and I got these for three twenty five, three ninety five, being a rewards member. Period. Um, I had a free, a free um reward because y'all know we just went shopping in Bath and Wild Worth Thursday. So I end up getting the pink uh, pineapple sunrise in the fragrance mist that I can't wait to try. This is originally sixteen fifty. Got it for the free. And then when I was in there looking uh, through my rewards, I end up randomly having a free gift for a travel size body care. So I got this in Whipberry um, Maroog. Um, I have no idea how this smells. I just grabbed it. Mm, it actually smells good. So, yeah, I'm excited about this. Um, in total of all that, I spent $20.91. All for the rewards. Period. Next. Went into Target. What's the matter? Oh. Look at here. Thing I got. Y'all need to be checking y'all Targets and y'all Walmarts because they have a lot of things marked down. And just because you went into one don't mean that you can't go into other Targets and Walmarts and find different stuff. That, um, I don't know if I've showed you guys my leopard print, um, long, like, trench peacoat. I got that. That original was like, what, $80? And I believe I paid like $30 for it. They had coats in there. I was looking for a more shorter, um, kind of like everyday coat. Because I didn't want to feel like, child, I couldn't even zip that thing up. I said, okay then. So, I got this jacket for Daniel. It is big. I feel like coats you should size up. Like, um, we just end up getting him ten, um, 9 to 10. 10 to 12 y'all I don't know we just went up what is it normally eight eight to nine whatever anyway whatever the next size after that and the two like putting the sizes together after the eights is what we just went up to and his pants and shirts so I decided to go ahead and get him a, a new jacket this is a 12 to 14 he definitely will grow into this and this was is a wind and water resistant this was originally $20, got it for $10. On clearance, show did. They had underwear and clearance, y'all. Like, and I just bought him a 10-pack. I think it was like $11. And they had some for $6. But, of course, they had only small and, like, extra large. And I was like, really, though? Then I went in and got him some more pants. I really like these type of pants. They are really, like, stretchy and drawstring. Um, we got these in the 10 these were $10 originally, so I went and got these. Did you wash your hands? Okay. Well, you don't have to crawl on the floor. They can't see you. I got them in the gray, that charcoal gray. And then I also got him some in the navy. Same price, same color. Um, and then I end up getting some feminine watch. I watched all of, I told y'all I watched all of Destiny's thing. And these are things I had been doing anyway, but since I've been home, I didn't really like, I wouldn't, I didn't get the wipes because I felt like why get wipes and you could just like use a rag and soap. We need to freshen up. But I went on and got the wipes because I'm like, okay, I mean, might as well. Um, I use this type of pads, um, and tampons actually. It all depends on what is on sale at that time. And what they got, this is the 30 cleansing cloths. Um, this is what I got. This was $3.99. And then I also, these come in a pack like that. I also went and got the individual ones in Honey Pot. This was $4.99. I was trying to sit, check to see who was cheaper between Target and Walmart. Um... It wasn't giving me accurate information. So, I got these in Target, but I would definitely see which ones would have been cheaper if I would have went to Walmart. But that's just where I was at the time. I did go and get some um, cotton swab um, Q-tips. Got them um, for $0.99. Cent. I'd be having to hide these because y'all, my husband, will go right through all 300 of these. I need to put some stuff down. Got to check the time, check the time, check the time. Um, so, I did give me some Black History shirts. I got this shirt here. This was $10. I got this. Oh, I ended up getting this in the 2X. Oh, no. I meant to switch it out for an extra large. We'll see. I feel like this will run big. I don't know. So, this is really cute. 
I there was one I really really wanted it was it had the black girls on it and it had Barbie oh my god it was giving me life but it didn't have a tag and honestly the way the lines be in Target I really didn't want no problems with trying to get a price check or whatever so I left it in the store but I feel like I really should have just got it and just got them to scan one of these because all of these was running ten dollars but I didn't but um i would definitely i would really say go to target each year just because you got black history shirts from last year they have they be having different people like do stuff and you'll be you'll be you'll be surprised um i'm really hoping i've got quite i've got i'm getting a good collection but i would love to have black history shirts and attires to pretty much you know wear did this pause i don't know what happened here um to wear like um every day i do have enough that i can wear one like at least uh, something every week but um how about how about every day how about that i got daniel a new one this is a long sleeve black little boy here um this was um i got this in the eight to ten and this was also for ten dollars so he'll definitely wear this when he goes back to school um definitely he's really excited he's really been excited about learning about black history and having shirts and stuff like that so he has one already so this will be his second one with the kids i feel like you gotta grab them up quick because baby now that's all of the haul y'all i have got to change clothes and order this pizza because my event is about to start um i will may or may not check in with you guys later but until then i'm gonna call y'all back okay y'all so now that I've had my meeting, I did this little 10 minute beat. Um, legitly only took 10 minutes. I just can't want to wear this. I know. Um, so of course I had to figure out where to do, put all the things in bulk. That is the only downfall about having things in bulk. But I feel pretty good about some of our storage area. So it's not gonna be as bad. I do need to go get a toilet paper um, little holder thingy. Um, I, if I got time tomorrow, I'll get it or i get it Sunday. Monday one of these days and that way that holds at least about I think and Daniels it held about four toilet paper rolls not counting the one that you're using so that's five so that's almost depending on the pack maybe a whole pack and then you don't have to go back in there for a while so this I'm going to do something different with it because some of this stuff is my husband's stuff so I turned I, I took the cotton nail that's freshly opened that's two packs that's up there that I um that 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 is the paper towel rolls that is at least um, four on the bottom four on the top miscellaneous we ain't gonna talk about it I have the other um, laundry detergent there because we're still working on that and just to let y'all know the reason why this went quicker is this was 150 so that makes sense why it didn't last as long as this 250 will so I feel comfortable about that I got the other fabric softener. This fabric softener actually had 235. So honestly, that's not half bad. Um, I can't even remember. I didn't put it up there now. I'm not going to um, look at it to figure out how many that gain is. But it also was on sale. But this also is normally $9.99 too. So depending on who do the load, sometimes you got to figure out what makes sense for the best price. I got the, sorry, we doing laundry. I got the laundry sanitizer down here because I felt like... That is something we're going to be using more frequently, so it didn't need to be up there. And then I got one box of the dryer sheets. We still ain't even went through half of that. So, that's good. So, now I'm going to work on... I did open up the cotton nail wipes. So, I got two in the basket. I'm going to put some paper towels in that and kind of make that look really pretty. So, then I just have to figure out what to do with these here chips. And then I'm going to... Daniel, watch out, please. Go clean your room up. Things in the storage closet. And to be honest, it's really not that bad. I got a napkin. I might take one more pack of napkins out. Not really because that's 200. Um, maybe though. I think I might take one more pack of napkins out of that. And have two inside the house. And just know to go inside the storage closet. So I'm going to do that in a few minutes. And yeah. I got rid of the mess y'all. <laughs>